Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Geller and you're watching Quick and Kosher in the Raw. This doesn't mean we're cooking raw food, right guys? I've got Tamara and Hadassah with me here. Say hi. Hi. Hey, and Hadassah. Hi. It just means that we're doing like episodes without any music or tricks, just so you can see exactly how it goes down in my kitchen. Like when I drop things, you can see that. Okay, well, I do that all the time. I've like got like the butterfingers today. All right, so we've got chicken with apples. This is a perfect and delicious Rosh Hashanah recipe, right? Mm -hmm. Apples, sweet things, you know, honey, right? What's what we like to do. It's really fantastic, as all my recipes are for joy of kosher year round. Uh, year round. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so much tired. Look, we were shooting a lot today. It's okay, Nadasa. I still love you. It is fantastic for joyofkosher.com, and this one is actually on joyofkosher.com. Yes. So you were good by saying that. Okay, so I'm going to make a spice rub for tomorrow. You're going to start with one chicken and eggs, about three to four pounds, okay? We've got our kosher salt. But tomorrow is so beautifully tilting the chicken toward the uh, cinnamon. Because that's perfect and beautiful spice with uh, apples. Thyme. I love thyme. Do you guys, what you said you like sage? Oh, I love thyme, too. I'm a thyme girl. I yeah, like how about you? Dust. I, I don't prefer one But with apples, the, the thyme is really nice. With yeah, the it's yeah. so perfect. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. And then we've got some mustard powder. We want that's about a, table, a teaspoon of mustard powder. And this is a great rub. So mix that up. And then generously rub our chicken because we're going to sear that and we want it to have a nice coating. I'm going to get working on two apples that I'm going to slice, fennel, and one onion. Second. A one cup of the sliced fennel. Okay, fine. Okay, so the apples, I'm going to start working on them. i got to wash them off first. And then we can prepare our veg. How are you doing there with your uh, spice sauce tomorrow? Yeah, it's smelling good. Yeah? Almost there. Does it smell nice? It smells really good. I love the cinnamon. No. Great cut. Oh, sure. Let me wash for you. Oh, you can wash from this. Get it done. You want it finely chopped or coarsely chopped? No, I'm so glad you asked. We want this to be quarter inch thin slices. So cut it in half and then quarter inch slices. Okay, okay and we're going to try to do that with all of our veg here and our, and our fruit. So the apples, I'm going to do the same thing. Now, yes, the book says you can use a mandolin to save time, to have uniform pieces, to make sure that everything cooks through evenly. But honestly, I'm scared of my mandolin. So I'd rather use a nice sharp knife and get nice quarter inch thick slices. Oh, they, these are looking pretty, right? Yeah, very good. Nice and even. So I'm going to wash this off first. Oh, great. Can I throw you my core to throw out with yours? So first of all, I'm going to just give it a slice in half. And I'm going to peel off the outer layer, just because it's pretty dirty. I mean, you could use it, too, if you wanted to. Uh, but I love it fresh. I love it cooked. It's just Yeah, like, like caramelizes nicely. My new favorite. Okay, tomorrow you want to also give a nice few turns, really nice turns of the pepper mill. Okay, so we've got our chicken pieces, our vegetables, our apples. We're going to bring everything over here and work with them. We're actually going to work with the chicken pieces first. I love to use tongs when I'm searing. It's like an extension of my arm, my favorite kitchen tool. But we also want to use, we've got a hot pan, a really good quality olive oil. So I have here the Geffen 100% pure, extra virgin, cold pressed olive oil. I'm going to get that into our pan. And now, basically just four to five minutes on each side, we're going to sear our chicken pieces. So, pick them up and put them down here. Now, see if we can get it all done. I think we'll be able to fit this all into one batch. Otherwise, just work in batches. I like to make sure the skin is nicely covering and coating. Our chicken, and what you're doing when you're searing is you're locking in the flavor, the juices, and you're giving a beautiful brown to the skin, a nice little crunch. So that's like an awesome trick that I learned. Hot pan, cold oil, cold food, great sear, nothing sticks, and we'll get our nice crunchy, flavorful skin. So five minutes on each side. Okay, so we're gonna flip these guys. They've been going for about five minutes. And look at that beautiful color that we have. Oh, this is looking so good. The smell, the sizzle, perfect. And we just want to do these now for about five more minutes on the second side. 
Okay, so now we've been five minutes on both sides. Look how gorgeous this skin is. Is that beautiful? So it's not cooked through, so don't get all like nervous that I'm putting it back in this pan where the raw chicken was, because it's really not cooked through. We just seared it off. Oh, this is exactly what we want. Exactly. We just seared it off. We're going to continue cooking it in the oven. So we're just going to get our apples, our fennel, and our onions all into the pan here. I'm going to cook these down for about five minutes. Now you want to be really careful that these don't burn. So we're going to keep an eye on them and keep moving them around the whole time. So these are cooking in all the fabulous, flavorful chicken juices and all the spices that are left over in the pan. So we're really pulling this whole dish together. So first we seared our chicken. Now we have our apples, our fennel, and our onions. So we're cooking down for about five minutes. I'm going to keep it moving the whole time because we don't want them to burn. It's so aromatic, so fragrant, so beautiful already. And I'm just so excited for all of these layers of flavor. Our tart apples, our fennel or anise or anise, whatever you like to call it. But just know that it is called that fennel, so you might find it in your supermarket in the produce section under anise or anise. Okay, so we have been working with this apple, fennel, onion mixture for about five minutes. It's fantastic. It's so aromatic, so fragrant. It's cooked down a little bit. We're going to take our chicken pieces and place them back in on top of the veg and the apples. So wherever we can fit them. This is beautiful. And now I'm doing skin side up so they finish off nicely in the oven. Okay, and this is beautiful. Now we want this to work here for about five more minutes on the stove top, after which we're going to pour in our chicken broth, about one cup of chicken broth, and then we're going to put it in the oven at 350 for about half an hour to finish cooking. So we want this for another five minutes, and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so five minutes this has been cooking. Now we're going to add about one cup of chicken broth to our pan. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to take this now and put it in the oven uncovered at 350 for about half an hour to finish off cooking. So half an hour. I love these stove top to oven pans. They're fantastic. See you in 30. All right, we're so excited. Our chicken has been in the oven 30 minutes uncovered, finishing cooking after we seared it off on the stove top. Two hands for this big mama. Come out, close the oven. And how does it look, guys? Oh, divine. Wonderful. And how does it smell? Mm. Is that fantastic? Yeah, that looks great. So, you know what you guys get, the perks of being here all day long. <laughs> I can, I can, I'll try them dark. Yeah? Oh, good yeah, for you. I guess. She said dark? Yeah. You see, you must be nicer than me because I wasn't offering to try the white. <laughs> This is just fantastic. This is beautiful and delicious. Perfect for Rosh Hashanah, year-round. Two forks, one knife. Fantastic. That's Hamish, Hamish. right? We, we okay, guys, it. go for it. I will. Pour back. So we have on here cinnamon, thyme, pepper, salt, a little mustard powder. Blow, blow, blow. <laughs> Tell my kids. Yes, mommy. Blow. And they only blow once, and then they eat it and burn themselves still. I know. Mine too. Okay. Oh. Mm. Yay. Oh, that is so good. Delicious, right? Absolutely. Mm. Since they're eating, I'll tell everyone. Okay, tomorrow on camera doing her That's own. That's good. Mm. I don't want to leave her out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Joyofkosher.com. Oh, you can get the recipe. It's also my new book, Quick and Kosher Meals and Minutes. And we're so happy you guys watched this fabulous episode, especially for Rosh Hashanah. You know, can do the honey chicken that we have that everyone loves, right? Thousands of people have watched that video on YouTube. And now we've got our chicken with apples for Rosh Hashanah and year round. See you guys.